Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Continuing on Brian's L head here. Uh, let me show you what I got going on here so you can see. Okay, I've got Brian's on the left, I've got Larry's on the right. Okay, now I put Larry's crank back in because I want to show you something about this Chinese block. Let me see if I can get it on the camera here. Uh, what I noticed was the main bearing uh, cap locations. Um, if you look at a factory, oh, let me try and get in there. If you look at a factory setup, you see how close the cap is to the crank. Cap to crank is very close and then in the front you're up against your thrust washer okay so I measured the distance between the caps on the factory engine block and on this Chinese one okay the distance from uh, the front to the middle is over 65 thousandths difference and the back to the middle about fifty thousandths difference. Okay, look what that does here. It adds a huge amount of distance between the bearing and the crank. I believe we're losing a lot of oil pressure here. Same thing in the back. Very huge gap there. And as you can see, we're tight against the thrust bearing in the front. Uh, I do not like um, the, the the main bearing saddles I do not like them in the Chinese block I don't believe that this engine could have had good oil pressure when it was running um, the valves and we'll get to the valves the valves themselves are worn incredibly the guides are 30 thousandths bigger than they should be uh, there is a terrible amount of wear in this engine I'm going to pull these caps and show you what I found uh, when I pull the caps off, I'll show you the condition of those. Um, crankshaft is rough. You can hear my nail catching on that. So, uh, let me get set up. I'm going to show you uh, what we found when I took those off. Okay guys, let's pop off this front main cap. I don't know if you can see the scoring in there. Uh, I scored up terribly. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why it's this bad. I don't know if they put this together on the beach or um, just had some grit in there. I don't know how they get this bad but um, this is terrible. I scored up horribly. the rear we're down to the copper in that one kind of tough to see let's see if I can get you in there okay you should be able to see how badly scored that is um, the bearings are shot it's just that's just a disaster in there um, everything is about as bad as you can imagine it would be I mean this is crazy for from what I understand this engine has 3,000 miles on it um, and, and that's not something you should see in 3,000 miles that's not something you should see in in 50,000 miles or or more you know it's just uh, bad things happen with this um, 
I'm going to continue on. I'm going to pull this crank. I'm going to continue on show you why I'm not feeling good about this block. And, uh, and we'll get deeper into it a little bit. Okay, guys, there's number one. There's the middle. And there is the rear. Like I say, they're in horrible condition. I don't know. Um, I don't know why this is. It's um, it's just another extremely poor rebuild. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this block and turn out a good engine for you. I don't think it's going to keep oil pressure. I don't like the way the casting is. It's not close enough to the original block where I feel good about putting a crank in there. Um, this is why I... I tell people, please don't use a Chinese block. There's too many horror stories, and here's another one of them. Uh, this is just, it's just junk. And uh, we'll keep digging in, and uh, I'll show you why we're not going to be able to use this block. Okay, guys, same thing on the rods. Look at how worn that is. Get you in on that cap. Look at how bad that cap is. And every rod is like this. Um, there's nothing that isn't scuffed or worn or beat up in this engine. And uh, like I say, this just doesn't happen in 3,000 miles. So um, bearings are bad, main and rods. Uh, casting is way off and we'll get into the valves and uh, we'll flip the block over and I'll show you a little bit more stuff okay I've got the block in, in regular position here uh, the deck surface here uh, is, in, is in terrible shape uh, you could get a 6,000 feeler gauge in a lot of places on there uh, I'm not even going to bother showing you. It's so bad. Uh, the valve job here. Uh, the Chinese blocks. Looks like they put seats in everywhere. Um, some of them look like it just got a wipe with a 45 degree cutter. Others are severely beat up by the valve bouncing around. There's actually stuff my nail can catch there. Uh, this one seems to be okay. Um, I don't know who would do a valve job like this. Uh, maybe. Um, I don't know who would do it. Maybe somebody in their backyard with, with rocks from the from the driveway. Uh, the valve job is horrible. Um, we're not sealing. We're not. You know, nothing good is happening here. Um, we're, we're not the valves aren't sealing at all so um, that's not terrible that can be fixed but I don't know why the valves wore so bad so I'm gonna get the valves out and I'm gonna show you how much the valves wore and how much the guides are worn um, again I don't like the block. I don't feel comfortable. I don't think I'm going to be able to put out a, a good engine for you, uh, Brian. Uh, I think we should look for another block. I know that you bought this engine in, in good faith and you thought it was going to be a good engine. Uh, I'm not sure who sold it to you. Uh, the engine builder uh, should have picked up on this, I, I believe, when he was building this engine. Uh, it's not built to any kind of quality standard. So, it's just a lot of bad juju with this engine. A lot of bad stuff going on here. So, let's look at the valves next. Okay, guys, just got an exhaust valve and a guide here. Uh, exhaust valve has worn tremendously. Hard to hold the camera and do this. Um... 
the stem here measures um, 367 instead of 372. This is worn tremendously. This should be reamed with a 375 reamer uh, right now. Uh, this is a good one and it measures 395 on the inside. So between the, the valve stem being worn and the valve guide being worn, uh, we have a tremendous amount of play in there. And it, it's hard to see, but you could see how it damaged the seat there. Uh, if I can get you in there. The seat is damaged. Um, uh, that's an intake. The seat is damaged on this exhaust. This exhaust, was, we got damaged again here. It's all that crazy sealer on here. I don't know what that's all about. That's damaged. Every valve, every guide is worn. Again, this is a 3,000 mile engine. Uh, there was no oiling going on uh, to cause this, this kind of, of wear. Um, I believe low oil pressure was killing this engine. And I believe the low oil pressure is directly related to a poorly cast engine block. So, not the best news, but like I say, uh, the engine builder should have caught this. Uh, the bores aren't straight and true. Um, they're oversized, uh, uh, two to five thousandths oversized on your bores. Uh, your pistons are scuffed. You have a lot of carbon buildup. Um, again, I don't know what kind of ignition you're running. I don't know what kind of carburation you're running. It seems like you were constantly running with the choke on for the amount of carbon that's in here. Um, I don't know enough about this engine and I don't have all the components to fire it up and seeing what I'm seeing in this block I, I don't feel you're gonna get an engine that will last or an engine that you're gonna wanna put in your Jeep with this particular block uh, now I know you spent some money to buy it but um, if you have another block Brian um, uh, we're gonna need one your crank may be able to be polished. It's 2020 right now. I might have to take it to 3030. I don't think I can polish it, but I'll try. Uh, you're going to need all new main bearings, all new rod bearings. I'm going to have to resize the rods. They're not correct. You're going to need new valve guides. You're going to need a three-angle valve job. You're going to need a bore and hone uh, on a new block. I, like I say, this, this Chinese block is just not going to cut it. So... Um, you know watch this video and uh and get back with me and uh, let me know what direction you'd like to go um it's just a sad situation here and and I, and I tell people again and again do what you got to do to get an original block do not waste your money on these chinese blocks they are junk so that's all i have for you today uh, thanks for watching and i will uh show you more about uh, the various engines I'm working on. We got John's engine here. We got Brian's engine here. We got Larry's engine. We got Mark's engine. We've got Scott's 258. We've got Steve's MB engine there. We got another F head over there. All the way down there. We've got Tom's L head ready for some sleeves and I've got more outside that need to come in but I'm getting overwhelmed with engines so we're gonna try and knock these out um, get back to me Brian let me know what's happening and uh, again thanks for watching everybody uh, I know it's been a lot of devastation on these engines lately but uh, we'll get to assembling some pretty soon so uh, I'll catch you on the next one